What's up guys, it's Levi from Wall Street Survivor and today we're back with one of the most important videos we've ever put out. That's right, today we're looking into the best investing apps. Well, in the olden days of finance, you used to have to go down to a physical exchange to invest, have a broker do it for you, or work through some complicated website and cut through a lot of red tape to start investing, but today we have the power of investing in our pockets. And I'm not gonna lie to you, there's some pretty good investing apps out there that I suggest everybody has. In 2020, we have so much power at our fingertips. No longer do you have to be chained to your laptop or your desktop to start investing. And as Wall Street survivors, we wanna be investing in the simplest and easiest way possible. Why would we wanna pull out our laptop and log into some clunky website when we could just pull out our phone, type in a passcode, and make a trade on Robinhood right there and then? Harnessing the power of these best investing apps, you'll be able to invest on the go and keep up with the finance and investing world at all times. All right, let's get into it. For app number one, we have Round. Round is our best all around investing app. With Round, there are four steps to kicking off your portfolio. Step one, you start your round experience with a questionnaire. This questionnaire will help you better understand your risk tolerance, your timeline, and your investing goals. Step two is that based on those answers from your questionnaire, Round will create a mix of world-class investors to help you grow your portfolio. Step three, now that you have a representative for your investments, they'll help you manage them every single day. And they expand your portfolio past just stocks and bonds. Step four, your fund manager will change your investments or adjust as needed, taking advantage of different trends so that you can be on the best course of action for your invested money. Now, with the popularity of robo-advising and today's ease of access into buying and selling stocks yourself, Round separates themselves by giving you access to real fund managers. So Round delivers active investing and adaptive portfolio to mitigate negative risks. And the management fee is waived if your returns are negative. Now, with a lot of fee-free investing options today, it's important to recognize some of the cons of Round. Round charges you monthly based on an annual 0.05% management fee. But again, if you're losing money, you're not gonna pay that management fee, and that's one of the benefits of Round. Overall, we think the benefits of having a fund manager an adaptive portfolio that's specialized for your investment needs and only having to pay management fees when you're making money outweigh the cons of the 0.05% management fee. But it is important to consider that that fee can add up month after month, so definitely weigh this against other investing app options. Okay, for app number two, we have Robinhood, our best investing app for beginners. Robinhood has absolutely changed the investing game for everyday investors like you and me. They spearheaded the commission-free trading movement that has now made waves across the industry, allowing people to trade stocks with no fees for buying or selling. They offer trading stocks, ETFs, and options with no commissions on the trades. Instantly, this made Robinhood stand out. I think Robinhood is the perfect investing app for beginning investors because commission-free trading offers the opportunity to experiment in the stock market, test out strategies, and create various portfolios without the constraint of paying for each trade. However, Robinhood does more than just offer free trades. They also offer, in my opinion, the best mobile experience for trading on your phone. The experience of trading on your phone could not be easier, and with Robinhood's simple and straightforward user interface, you know exactly what you're getting into, and it's a few clicks of a button to buy and sell stocks. As a bonus, Robinhood also offers trading cryptocurrencies, which many traditional investors Investment brokerages do not offer. Now cryptocurrency investing is super risky, but it is nice to be able to watch the markets and possibly trade cryptocurrency from the same app as you buy and sell your stocks. Overall, the experience with Robinhood is simple, easy to use, and great for beginning investors. They also have an awesome incentive program for getting you and your friends to start investing together. When you sign up for a Robinhood account, you get a free stock automatically. And for every friend that you invite to start an account, you and them both get a free stock. And these aren't just penny stocks or $5 stocks. You can get shares of some of the leading companies in the world, like Apple and Microsoft. Now, there's a ton of other benefits to Robinhood that we won't be able to cover this video, but check out our Robinhood review video if you want more information about Robinhood. App number three is called Acorns, and it's our best app for easy investing. Acorns came up with a revolutionary concept of roundups. If you're not super interested in investigating and researching, Acorns is an awesome app for you. Basically what happens is when you buy something at a store, you can sign up and link your debit card or your bank accounts to the Acorns app. And every time you make a purchase, your purchase will be rounded up to the next nearest dollar, and that differential will be invested into exchange-traded funds 
through your Acorns account. So as you spend, your investing grows, and over a period of time, this can come out to quite a bit of cash and it's all invested passively for you through automated investing. But Acorns offers more than that. Their three main services are banking, securities investing, and retirement savings accounts. Acorns costs anywhere between $1 and $5 a month to take advantage of all of these different services. And that's a pretty low fee compared to many other investing apps. The biggest benefit to Acorns is how easy it makes investing. All your money is being invested without even you really knowing about it and without ever you having to look or touch it. A lot like Round, you answer a simple questionnaire about your goals, your age, your income, and how long you want to be invested for. Based off of that, Acorns puts you in an investing profile and invests your money accordingly, meaning they'll divide your money between different types of investments based on your age, investing goals, income, and so forth. They split your money up between large cap, mid cap, small cap stocks, international stocks, and bonds as well. Not only do they round up your purchases and invest it, but they also have recurring investments where you can set a certain amount of money to deduct from your bank account and be invested in your Acorns account as you please. I use Acorns as a simple way to passively invest without having to research every single stock, knowing that my money has a good chance of growing in the long run, and if I don't even know it's coming out of my bank account, then I probably won't ever have to pull it out and won't ever need the cash on hand. Acorns helps me stay honest about my long-term investing strategy and doesn't let me get emotional about individual trades or individual investments. If you think automated investing is for you, definitely check out Acorns, and if it's hard for you to put money aside to start investing with, Acorns is by far the easiest way to start. Moving on to app number four, SoFi, our best all-around personal finance app. SoFi in the finance world is the definition of being able to do all things finance in one place. SoFi offers four main services, borrowing, investing, insurance, and credit options. So let's get into what all of those mean. First, we'll start with borrowing. SoFi is widely known for its ease of access and great rates on loans. SoFi can help you refinance your current loans, start student loans, open a mortgage, or even receive a personal loan. They have super competitive rates and a super easy application process, and basically they've been revolutionizing the student debt and student loan refinancing industry. SoFi also just came out with a new credit card. Their credit card is super competitive, offering 2% unlimited cash back, and there are no annual fees linked to the SoFi credit card. SoFi also offers insurance to keep your assets safe. They provide renter's insurance, homeowner's insurance, auto insurance, life insurance, and estate planning. Now, if you're a young person like me who's just getting into all this insurance world, that may sound like a lot, but like I said, SoFi has such a wide range of offerings, you might not need every one of their services, but you certainly could use one of them. The great thing is that they have an app to access all of these services, so you can have access to all of this through one finance app. Lastly, and more important to this video, is their investing services. They offer active investing, automated investing, cryptocurrency investing, retirement accounts, and an investing 101. SoFi really is a one-stop shop for all of your investing needs, providing you with a variety of options to reach your goals. They tailor toward beginning and experienced investors, and they really have the ability to fill everybody's personal finance and investing needs in one place. Okay, and last but not least, we have Wealthfront the best app for the least time needed. Wealthfront is perfect for the investor who doesn't really want to learn much about investing, but understands the value of making your money work for you. Wealthfront is completely automated, so out of all of the apps we've just talked about, it takes the least time and least effort to manage your account. There are two big caveats with Wealthfront. First of all, it has a $500 minimum account fee, so maybe not the best for somebody who's just trying to put aside a little bit of money to start experimenting with investing. And second, there is an account management fee of 0.25%, which is considerably larger than round, which is a 0.05% management fee. However, the benefits of Wealthfront are the variety of accounts that you have access to. Wealthfront supports 529 college savings accounts, IRAs, trusts, retirement accounts, and regular cash accounts. Additionally, they offer tax strategy, automatic account rebalancing, and high yield savings accounts, all included in that 0.25% account management fee. Again, just like a lot of the other apps, you'll start by answering a questionnaire about your risk tolerance, your income, and your goals for investing. And from there, Wealthfront will set up an automated portfolio for you, based on the services you select. With Wealthfront, it is possible that you will hold individual securities, unlike Acorns, where you'll just be invested in index funds. So if you're looking for an automated experience where you literally don't have to keep up with anything about investing, but know that your money is being invested, 
Wealthfront could be the app for you. Overall, after reviewing this list, my takeaway is that there are a ton of different tools out there to help each individual investor depending on what their goals and needs are. The service offerings for investing for everyday investors is better than it's ever been, so it's really important to keep in mind what services are out there and how easy they are to access. I hope this video helped you guys understand a little bit more about what's out there in the world of mobile investing, and I hope that you guys can take advantage of these tools from your pocket in order to secure your dream financial future. Please comment down below with any questions, make sure to smash that like button, and subscribe to the Wall Street Survivor channel for more videos coming very soon. Please take your time to individually research all the apps listed in this video and more, and please let me know if you want me to do any more expanded reviews of any of these apps individually. That's all for today, I'll see you guys next time, thanks so much for watching.